Hey guys, how's it going? Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you some of the best hidden or less known features of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So we will be covering features that people don't really talk about. This is going to be very interesting. Also, before we start, I just want to say that I've got plenty of videos on the channel about the S22 Ultra, including where I demonstrate all of the features of the camera. So make sure that you are subscribed. And as always, you can download the wallpaper from my Flickr account. I'll put the link in the video's description along with the timestamps. Okay, so let's start. Unlike the previous generation of galaxies, the S22 Ultra is now capable of running its display in WQHD in the adaptive mode. So this means you can run the display at 120Hz at its maximum resolution. And this is awesome because this gives you the best sharpness and smoothness. But it does come at the cost of battery life, so keep that in mind. I feel that the battery backup is okay even after setting the phone to WQHD in the adaptive mode. So you might want to tinker and play with these settings to get the best battery backup. And the S22 Ultra also has the brightest display ever to be on a smartphone. But to unlock the maximum brightness, you might want to check this box which says extra brightness. And there you go. That makes the display even more brighter. It is insanely bright. Now, you guys may already know that the S22 Ultra comes with wireless charging. But did you know that this phone also comes with reverse wireless charging? And this feature allows your Galaxy S22 Ultra to charge up other wireless charging capable devices such as this Galaxy Watch. Just place it on the back of your phone and it will start charging. Awesome feature, right? So here is how you activate this feature. Drop down the notification panel and look for wireless power share. If the button is not here, tap on the plus icon and drag and drop the wireless power share button down over here. So here it is. So now just tap on this to activate the wireless power share feature. And now you can place devices that are capable of wireless charging on the back of your phone and they will just charge. By the way, you can also charge up other smartphones, but it's not really efficient, so it's best that you charge up small gadgets like the Galaxy Watch or the Galaxy Buds. Oh, and here's a tip. Whenever you want to charge up your Galaxy Buds or the Watch, just plug your phone in and then activate the wireless power share feature. This way, both your phone and the watch will charge together. And this is exactly how I have been charging my Galaxy Watch. I mean, I haven't even opened up its charger. Awesome feature, right? Sharing files between Samsung devices is super easy. You can use a feature called Quick Share to quickly transfer files between two Samsung devices. So let's select a couple of photos and a video and send these over to the S21 Plus which I've got right over here. So once you are done selecting, tap on the share button and then tap on Quick Share. And you will see the other phone right over here. So here is our S21 Plus. Tap on it and the phone will start sending over the files. And one of the reasons why I like this feature is because the file transfers are super fast. And there you go. That barely took less than 5 seconds. And all of the stuff that we just sent over is inside the Quick Share folder. Now to use Quick Share, make sure that it is enabled by going into the settings, scroll down to advanced features, then tap on Quick Share. Now inside who can share with you, make sure that this is set to anyone nearby. The Galaxy S22 Ultra also comes with Samsung's wireless DeX functionality. And this feature quite literally turns your smart TV into a personal computer. You can even connect a keyboard and a mouse. So this feature allows you to launch any app that is installed on the phone and you will see it on your TV in this desktop sort of a view. Let me show you how this feature works in a little bit more detail. So first off, you will need a TV with screen mirroring capability which almost every smart TV has got. So once you've got your TV turned on, grab your S22 Ultra and drop down the notification panel and look for DeX. Tap on DeX, then select the option which says DeX on TV or monitor. And once you do, your TV model should pop up right over here in the bottom row. Once it does, tap on it and wireless decks should start up right away. There you go, we've got it up and running. Now, the best thing about the wireless DeX functionality is that you can connect a standard wireless PC mouse and a keyboard into one of the USB ports of your TV. 
and this allows you to use the keyboard and the mouse as input devices. So you can see I'm able to move the mouse and also type using the keyboard. And this kind of gives you that Windows like experience. So if I move this window, you can see we've got icons on our desktop. And if you double click on them, that opens up apps in a window just like they would open on a Windows PC. But this is Android. And what you are seeing here is actually true multitasking because we've got multiple apps open together. And keep in mind, all of this is happening on the phone and not on the TV. Now, while you are using DeX, the phone's display remains turned off. But if you hit the power button, you'll notice that the screen comes on and the phone is fully functional. So if you want to quickly do something on your phone, maybe make a phone call, you can easily do that and DeX will continue to run normally on the TV. And this really shows you the power of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Awesome, right? And check this out guys. You can use the S Pen to showcase your photos because the S Pen gestures are fully functional in the DeX mode. How awesome is that? And yes, the navigation gestures also work in DeX. So this will allow you to control DeX using your S Pen. Now I swear this is gonna blow your mind. So if you've got an LG Smart TV that comes with one of these magic remotes, then you can use the remote as a mouse. So using just the remote, you can have full control over Samsung DeX. And there is nothing special that you have to do. Just connect your phone to an LG Smart TV which has a magic remote and it will just work. And yes, you can play simple 2D games using the magic remote. I'm actually very surprised to see the LG magic remote compatible with Samsung DeX. Quite fascinating. You can also control the music player using the S Pen. So just press on the button to play or pause the song and also flick the S Pen up to increase the volume. And using the left to right gesture, you can move forward through your playlist. And from right to left takes you to the previous song. And also, if you haven't noticed, the music is actually playing back through the home theater system. So here's the thing, if you've got a home theater system that is plugged in into the sound output of the TV, then whatever audio you play on Samsung DeX is actually gonna play back through the home theater system. This is gonna be very useful for house parties and for home theater systems that don't have Bluetooth. So yes, this is Samsung DeX or better known as desktop experience. And I absolutely love this feature. There is also a hidden feature called the emergency mode and this disables most of the applications and will change the background into something simple with the dark mode turned on to conserve the battery power. And you get a couple of options like the flashlight button which toggles the camera flash and there is also this emergency alarm which is quite loud. That is definitely gonna grab some attention. Then you've got some basic applications and you can actually customize these. But yeah, most of the applications aren't exactly available for obvious reasons. And tapping on this button will dial the emergency services number. Now you can find this feature under settings, then scroll down to safety and emergency. And here you'll find the emergency mode. So this is a super useful feature in case you want to make the battery last for a couple of days. And you've got some extra stuff like the alarm in case of an emergency. You can also share the clipboard across Samsung devices and this allows you to copy and paste text between them. So check this out. Let's copy some text on this phone which is the S21 Plus. And now on the S22 Ultra, we will be able to paste the same text that we copied on the other smartphone. There you go. So this feature is called continue apps on other devices. You can enable this feature by going into the settings then advanced features and here you will find continue apps on other devices and for this feature to work both the devices must be signed in into the same samsung account and also must have bluetooth and wi-fi turned on and other than the shared clipboard functionality you can also synchronize the samsung web browser so as an example if you are browsing a website on your phone and you want to open it on your samsung tablet what you can do is grab your tablet open recents and press on this little button and the app data will synchronize and the tablet will open the exact same web page that you were browsing on your smartphone. So this is actually quite useful and an underrated feature that no one really talks about. 
If you want to keep the battery of your S22 Ultra in good health for many years to come, you might want to turn on a battery protection feature. So drop down the notification panel, scroll down to battery and device here, then tap on battery. Scroll down to more battery settings. Here you will see a feature which says protect battery. Turn it on. So this feature limits the maximum charge level to 85% and the phone is gonna pause charging as soon as the battery level hits 85%. So the thing is, lithium batteries degrade faster when they are charged up to 100%. So by limiting the maximum charge level to 85%, you can technically help extend the lifespan of the battery for a little bit longer. I followed these steps and took care of this Samsung phone and it still got the original battery which is not swollen and still holds charge. And mind you guys, this phone is more than 11 years old at this point. So I think it is a good idea to turn this feature on but if you want to charge your phone to 100%, say for example if you are going out and you won't have a charger with you, then hey, turn this feature off no problem. But if you are staying at home, keeping this feature on is a good idea. If you've got one of these smart internet connected gadgets like this table lamp from Xiaomi, you can have the on off switch for this right here in the drop down notification panel under device control. And this allows you to switch your smart device on or off right here from the notification panel. You don't even need to launch the official application. So the way you add toggle switch for your smart gadgets under device control is by tapping on these three dots and then selecting manage apps. Here the phone will show you a list of supported applications. So let's add something from Xiaomi Home. So let's enable this and select the gadgets that we want to add from this list. And that's it. Now we will see these gadgets that we have just added in the device control menu. And like I said, it makes it a lot easier to control these devices. Alright, so you've taken some beautiful photos and videos on your Samsung phone. And now you want to transfer these to your computer. And the usual way of doing it is by connecting the phone to the computer via USB. Now, what if I told you you no longer have to connect the phone via USB to your computer just to transfer some files between your phone and your PC? You can now transfer files completely wirelessly. And the application that makes this possible is called Samsung Flow. Now, apart from wireless file sharing, this app actually does a lot more. Like, you can view your phone's display on your Windows PC, and this allows you to open up apps that are installed on your Samsung phone, which I think is a super convenient feature. You don't even need to pick your phone up to use Android applications. Amazing, right? This is very similar to Link to Windows, but this works over your local Wi-Fi network, so it's not using your mobile data, and you don't need a Microsoft account to make this work. So the first thing you will have to do is download and install Samsung Flow on both your PC as well as on your phone. On a Windows PC, you can get this app from the Microsoft Store. And it already came pre-installed on my S22 Ultra, but if it's not installed, download it from the Play Store. Launch the apps on both your PC as well as on your phone and pair both of these devices. The pairing process is quite straightforward. I selected the Wi-Fi option since both the PC and the phone are on the same network. Once you finish the setup, you will see this screen. Now to transfer files wirelessly from your phone to your PC, all you have to do is press on the plus button and select image, video, and you can also pick any files from the file manager. For demonstration, let's transfer over some photos. Let's select a few of them and press on done. And there you go, it is now sending full size photos onto our PC. And all of these are stored in a folder called Samsung Flow which is inside the pictures folder. And here are the pictures that we just transferred over wirelessly. And if you want to send something over from your computer, then tap on the plus button and select any file that you want. Let's send this video over. So it is sending and because the file transfers happen on our local network, the speed is pretty good. And there you go. This feature makes sharing files between your phone and your PC quite easy. And other than this, you can also control your smartphone completely wirelessly using your Windows PC. Just tap on this button to start the remote control feature. And there you go. Now you've got full control over your smartphone through your Windows PC. I use this all the time. And lastly, to share the clipboard with your PC, click on this icon. 
And now, if we copy some text on the PC, we will be able to paste it on the smartphone. So let's copy this. Now let's paste it on the phone and just like that. Amazing, right? And this also works the other way around. So if you copy something on the phone, you will be able to paste it on your PC. I mean, I can't tell you guys how useful this shared clipboard feature really is. Another thing that I really like about Samsung Flow is that you can check your phone's notifications right on your PC by clicking on this button. And if it's a notification from a text messaging application like WhatsApp, you can even reply back without opening the app itself. And you can see we have received the message on the other smartphone. So Samsung Flow is awesome. I absolutely love this feature. A lot of people prefer having subtitles or captions embedded whenever they watch a video. But not every video comes with subtitles or captions embedded in them, such as this video. Here's the thing. You can actually have the phone generate captions for you. The way you do this is actually very simple. Press the volume button, then tap on these three dots. That expands the volume panel. And just tap here. So this enables a feature called live captions. So now, whenever you play an audio or a video which has speech in it, the phone is going to automatically generate Samsung captions Galaxy for S22 you. Ultra has an impressive quad camera setup that can capture incredible So there you go. It is actually generating videos. captions in real time. Of the camera, then so this actually allows you to turn the volume down and the phone will still continue to generate captions so you'll know what the person is talking about in the video. Alright, so this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.